What's going on guys, TJ Blaze, MGN Gaming. Look, before we get into this concept video, i like to say thank you to the guys and gals who've been supporting this channel over the last year or so. We've grown tremendously and it's all thanks to you guys, the viewers, the subscribers. Uh, I truly appreciate you know everything you guys do. Uh, but if you love the content, um, all the concept videos I do for Madden, please hit that like and subscribe button. Turn notifications on so you don't miss any uh, new videos. I want to get to 5,000 subscribers before Madden 23 drops. So please share the video to your friends, your family. Help me hit this goal. But let's get into this video. Week 4 featured two undefeated teams looking to keep their winning streak alive. Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars hosted Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals, the number one rushing defense against the number three rushing offense going into week three. First half, all Cincinnati. All season long, they've been one of the best teams at scoring late in the first half. Right here, Lawrence forcing an air raid pass and is picked off. He set his team up with an opportunity to score before half. 18 seconds left on the clock. Second and 10. Who else but the leading rusher in the NFL just making the number one rushing defense look silly scoring on this 34-yard touchdown run. Bengals up 21-7 in the first half. But when you have one of the top defenses in the league, you're never out of it. Jacksonville made it a competitive game in the second half, holding the Bengals offense to just six points. And they would capitalize on offense, scoring 14 unanswered uh, in the fourth quarter. But it wasn't the Jags defense who sealed the deal, but the Bengals. Down by six, touchdown pretty much wins it for Jacksonville. First and 10 on the Bengals 36-yard line. Lawrence makes a bad read, and Tadobe Awuze makes him pay for it on his 64-yard. Pick six, Bengals stay undefeated at least for one more week. Winning 34-21 over the Jaguars. Wuze had two interceptions, five picks in total for the Cincinnati Bengals defense. Tough place to win. All right, the Seattle Seahawks keep their win streak alive in this blowout win over the San Francisco 49ers. Not sure what's going on in San Francisco, but it was a 47-17. They have won three straight since their week one loss to the Colts. They've been playing like the team to beat in the NFC, averaging 50 54 points since week one and outscoring their opponents by 93 points. Number one offense going into week five. All right, the Cleveland Browns looking for their first win of the season coming into week four. 0 and 3. New GM Young Mid would do just that against the Vikings, winning on the road. 38 to 14. The Baltimore Ravens coming into week four, two and one, taking a sim loss uh, to the Chiefs in week two. Had a dog fight on their hands in Denver. This game came down to their defense, though, forcing a late fumble. Marlon Humphrey just forcing the ball out. Melvin uh, Gordon doing a little too much uh, with the ball. Ravens take over with seconds left on the clock. Baltimore wins it, 17 to 10, improving to three and one. Denver drops to one and three. All right. In our final game, we had Justin Herbert and the LA Chargers solidify themselves as the top team in the AFC West, at least for another week, beating Derek Carr and the Raiders on this last second field goal by Dustin Hopkins, 38 yarder to clutch the victory. Chargers win it 27 24, improved to 3 1. Raiders drop to 1 3, and it's not looking too good for the Oakland Raiders. As we take a look at the AFC West standings, they currently sit tied for last place in the West along. Alongside the Denver Broncos, obviously Kansas City, uh, one of those high caliber teams. If they get this win in week four, they'd be tied with uh, the LA Chargers here at the top of the division. Well, that'll do it for this Thursday night post game wrap up around the league here on MGN Game. And I appreciate you guys watching. Please, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Really want to get to 5,000 subs before Madden 23 drops. Also, if you want to join the community on band and follow the behind the scenes process, on my workflow and all the news surrounding this online league or maybe you just want to join the waiting list i don't know i highly recommend you join the group link will be in the description of this video again thanks for watching see you soon